اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم dear students I hope all of you are fine and doing well स्टार्ट करते हैं आज की अच्छी बात से सबसे पहले आप लोगों के साथ कुरान पाक की एक आयत शेयर करना चाहूंगी जिसका तर्जुमा कुछ इस तरह से है और अपने रब की नेमत का खूब चर्चा करो इसके अलावा आप लोगों के साथ एक हदीस शेयर करना चाहूंगी जिसका तर्जुमा कुछ इस तरह से है रसूल सल्लाह वसलम ने इर्शाद फरमाया जो लोगों पर रहम नहीं खाता अल्लाह भी इस पर रहम नहीं खाता तो so, प्यारे बच्चों हमें कोशिश करनी चाहिए कि अगर कभी किसी से कोई गलती हो जाए कोई कोताही हो जाए तो हम उसको दरगुजर कर दें और हमें दूसरों पर जो है वो रहम खाना चाहिए ना कि हमें सख्त दिल बन जाना चाहिए इन दुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन डिटेल अबाउट द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव एक्सेलरेशन विच इज फ्रॉम द टॉपिक थ्री पॉइंट फोर फ्रॉम योर बॉक डियर स्टूडेंट्स टॉपिक को स्टार्ट करने से पहले कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स जो कि हमें रिवाइज करने हैं ताकि आप लोग इस टॉपिक को अच्छी तरह से जो है वो अंडरस्टैंड कर सको और वो जो पॉइंट्स हैं वो हमारे पास कौन कौन से हैं सबसे पहले इस यूनिट में हमने जिस चीज को स्टडी किया था वो थी डिस्प्लेसमेंट डिस्प्लेसमेंट को हम किस तरह से डिफाइन कर सकते हैं डिस्प्लेसमेंट एक्चुअली डिस्टेंस होता है दो पॉइंट्स के दरमियान जस्ट लाइक इफ वी स्टार्ट मूविंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टिल पॉइंट बी एंड दिस डिस्टेंस हैज टू बी कवर्ड इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो जो शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस होता है किसी भी दो पॉइंट के दरमियान उस डिस्टेंस कवर को जो है हम डिस्प्लेसमेंट का नेम देते हैं तो डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज एक्चुअली द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बिटवीन द टू पॉइंट एंड इट इज ऑलवेज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी सो इट मस्ट हैव द मैग्नीट्यूड अलोंग विद द डायरेक्शन इसके अलावा जिस चीज को हमने स्टडी किया था दैट इज दिलोसिटी वेलोसिटी इज एक्चुअली द change in displacement over unit time velocity is also a vector quantity since displacement is a vector quantity so velocity is actually the change in displacement over time or iske ilawa jis cheez ko humne discuss kiya tha that is an acceleration acceleration is actually the rate of change of velocity change in velocity with respect to time and acceleration is also a vector quantity and its direction is along or against the direction of the velocity depends either the velocity is increasing or it is decreasing so the acceleration can be defined as a change in velocity over time which means we have to subtract initial velocity from the final velocity and then divided by final time minus initial time and we get the amount of an acceleration now in the today's lecture we will particularly discuss in detail about the positive and the negative acceleration so first of all let us consider an example that there is a car which is moving towards the right side so dear students if you consider the coordinate axis in the coordinate axis there are the two axes the vertical axis which is known as the y axis and the horizontal axis which is known as the x axis so the vertical up is the positive y and the vertical down is the negative y axis while the horizontal right is the positive x axis and the horizontal left is the negative x axis so these are the four coordinate points of the coordinate axis now if we consider 
the car is moving towards the right side while the car is speeding up so it means the velocity of the car is increasing and if the velocity of the car is increasing then what will be the direction and what will be the magnitude of an acceleration so let us consider initial velocity of the car is 5 meters per second and after an interval of one second the velocity of the car becomes seven meters per second and this is in between the time interval of the one second so the change in time is one second while the velocity increases by two meters per second so to find out the acceleration the acceleration is actually the change in velocity over the time so there is the change in velocity which equals to seven meters per second minus five meters per second divided by one second and it will be equals to two meters per second square so if the car is moving towards the positive x axis or towards the positive x direction and the car is speeding up which means the velocity of the car is increasing and then in that case acceleration will be positive and its direction will be similar to the direction of the velocity so this will be the case of the positive acceleration so we get the positive acceleration if the velocity is increasing and the car is moving along the positive x axis so along the positive x axis if the car is moving then the velocity will be considered to be positive and if the car is moving towards the negative x axis then the velocity of the car will be considered to be negative now dear students in the second example let us consider the car is moving along the x axis positive x axis but now in this case the car is slowing down in the previous case we have seen that the car is speeding up but in this case we will consider the car is slowing down so it means its final velocity it will be less than its initial velocity so let us consider initially the car is moving with the velocity of 8 meters per second and after the time interval of one second the velocity of the car decreases to three meters per second so now the car is slowing down even if the velocity of the car is towards the positive x-axis so we will consider the velocity as positive since it is moving towards the x-axis but the magnitude of the velocity decreases now in this case the acceleration will be equal to the change in velocity over the unit time while now in this case the velocity changes initially from 8 to 3. So final velocity minus initial velocity will be equal to 3 meters per second minus 8 meters per second divided by the time interval of 1 second. And 3 minus 8 will be 5 meters per second now dear students even if the velocity is towards a positive x-axis acceleration could be negative because acceleration depends on the change in velocity if the change in velocity is positive it means the car is speeding up then the acceleration will be along the direction of the velocity and it will be positive but if the velocity is decreasing even if it is moving towards the positive x-axis its acceleration will be negative and negative acceleration means it is opposite to the direction of the velocity so the acceleration will be directed towards the negative x-axis this means this acceleration is the negative acceleration 
in which the direction of the velocity and the direction of the acceleration is opposite. Now, dear students, let us consider a car which is now moving towards the negative x-axis. Now, the car is moving towards the negative x-axis and the car is speeding up. So, if the car is speeding up, it means its speed is increasing and since the car is moving towards the negative x-axis, so it means its velocity will be now negative, but its speed is going to increase. So let us consider the initial speed of the car is equal to minus two meters per second. So the initial velocity of the car is minus two meters per second. And since its velocity is increasing, so now let us consider its final velocity as minus five meters per second. The negative sign is just because the car is moving towards the negative x-axis. And since it is moving towards the negative x-axis, so we have considered the velocity with the negative sign sign because it is a vector quantity so it does depend on the direction and the speed increases during the time interval of one second now again we will use the same formula of the acceleration as the final velocity minus the initial velocity over the change in time interval so this will be equal to final velocity is now minus five meters per second. Initial velocity is minus two, so minus into minus two meters per second, which will become positive, and the time interval is one second. So the acceleration will be equal to minus five meters per second plus two meters per second divided by one second, which will be equal to minus three meters per second squared. So now, the acceleration is negative, which means the direction of the acceleration and the direction of the velocity will remain the same. Acceleration will also produce along the negative x axis. So as a result, this acceleration, since it is negative, so it will be considered to be negative acceleration. And dear students, if you remember the first example in which the car is moving towards the positive x-axis and it is speeding up then the acceleration direction is also along the same velocity direction and it was the positive acceleration but now since the velocity is towards the negative x-axis the velocity is negative then in case of the speeding up we get the negative acceleration now the last example is if the car is moving towards the negative x-axis and now the car is slowing down now we will see what will happen if the car is slowing down so let us consider the initial velocity of the car as five meters per second so the five meters per second is the initial velocity of the car while since it is now slowing down so we get the final velocity as let us consider one meters per second and again, this velocity decreases in the interval of one second. So to find out the acceleration, we use the same formula, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time interval. So the final velocity is now minus one meters per second, while the initial velocity is minus five meters per second. And the time interval is one second. So we get an acceleration as one meters per second plus five meters per second divided by one second and the result for an acceleration will be equal to four meter per second squared. Now dear students, as you can see, we get the positive acceleration. So it means in case of the car slowing down, the direction of an acceleration will be opposite to the direction of the velocity. And 
the acceleration will be directed towards the positive x-axis so we get the positive acceleration in this case now that dear students the things what we have learned from the today's topic is if the car is speeding up towards the positive x-axis then the acceleration which we get will be the positive acceleration and the direction of the velocity and an acceleration will remain the same if the car is slowing down towards the positive x direction then we get the negative acceleration and the direction of the velocity and an acceleration will be opposite if the car is speeding up towards the negative x-axis and in that case we get the acceleration as the negative acceleration and it will be along the same direction as of the velocity so we get the negative acceleration if the car is speeding up towards the negative direction x direction and if the car is slowing down towards the negative x direction then opposite acceleration will be produced acceleration will be produced in the opposite direction to the velocity so we get the positive acceleration so these are the four examples by which you can easily understand about the positive and negative acceleration. In the first case, the car is speeding up towards the positive x-axis. In the second case, the car is slowing down towards the positive x-axis. In the third case, the car is slowing down towards the negative x-axis and in the last case the car is speeding up towards the negative x direction so dear students these are the four examples by which you can learn easily about the positive and negative acceleration this is the end of the today's topic thank you so much i hope all of you have enjoyed the today's lecture for any kind of queries, you can write your question in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and Allah Hafiz.